Hey there, I'm Niv Miz, and I like to make games. I'm currently working on a high-speed first-person movement game where you use black holes to pull yourself forward. And in my last devlog, I explained that that was the one movement mechanic I had implemented in the game. Simple, right? You spawn black holes, they pull you forward. You can curve around them to do some pretty cool tricks. But one day, after sending the game to some friends for them to playtest, I got the following message. Huh? I was obviously very confused because I had added neither wall jumping nor wall running to my game. In fact, I hadn't even thought of the idea of adding them. So when I asked them to show me what they meant, this is the video they sent me. Yep, my game, completely by accident, just had wall running and jumping working, albeit pretty scuffed versions of them. The game dev gods had blessed me with bugs that were actually mechanics that made my game about a hundred times more fun. I felt like the developers of Street Fighter 2 when they discovered a bug in the game which players could exploit to attack multiple times before the opponent could recover, which later became the combo, a feature that basically every fighting game includes today and makes them all more fun. Of course, now that I saw how awesome this wall jumping ability was, I had to fix the bugs that caused it, polish it up, and make it an actual feature instead of just an accident. I started by adding two markers to check both of the sides of the player for a wall, and if they detected one, the player would register as on a wall. Once the player is in that state, they fall slower, and they also gain the ability to wall jump. Now, the original wall jump bug only allowed the player to go directly up, and if you wanted to jump between walls, you had to press a bunch of different directional inputs in quick succession. And I don't really want all my players to get carpal tunnel syndrome just from playing my game. So I had to come up with a better way. What I ended up with was a jump that propels the player forward and to the side, as well as slightly up. A solution that not only made wall jumping more intuitive, it also made a really good way to gain serious amounts of speed, especially when combined with some skillful black hole maneuvering. Then came the issue of the camera. I got some feedback that it was hard to tell when you were wall running and when you were plummeting down to your death, so I wanted to create an effect that rotates the camera away from the wall a little bit when you're running on it, a technique used by a bunch of really famous movement games like Titanfall and Ghost Runner. It wasn't too hard to actually rotate the camera, but as you can see, the rotation is instant, making it so your character is breaking his neck every time you run on a wall, and I'm pretty sure that's not ideal. I wanted the rotation to be smooth, like in these other high quality games, but in order to do that, I had to learn some more about quaternions. They're basically four dimensional vectors with which you can store rotations. It uh, took me quite a while, but I managed to figure it out in the end and I'm quite happy with the effect. Well, that's all the progress I made these past couple weeks. Now that the movement feels just right, level design is the next step, so subscribe to stay tuned for the next devlog. Only like 2% of you guys are subscribed, so it would really help me out if you guys just click the big red button. Leave a comment about what you'd like to see in the game, click like if you liked the video, until next time, bye!